Rebel Canners, teaching all kinds of food preservation, especially the old ways. Rebel Canders here, back for another car talk. Welcome. So the number one question I get asked on the Facebook group, Rebel Canners, the one with the black banner, been there the longest because there was, when I did my search, when I named the group, there was no other groups with the same name. So, you know, we have 100K members. So be sure you get the one with the black banner because there's a lot of copycats out there. But anyway, from the Facebook group, the number one question I get is how long will my canned foods last? What's their shelf life? I can't answer that for you. I know that I have foods that I've kept six and seven years on my shelf. I have an experiment. I'm going to see how long something will stay good. And I've already had it seven years on my shelf and I'm not going to, I'm going to open one jar a year until I'm done with that batch that I ran. So I, I can't answer for you, but I can tell you how to keep them the longest. Number one, take the rings off. The ring and the metal are, blah, sorry, try that again. The rings and the lids are made out of different metal compounds. So if you leave that ring on your jar, it's going to rust because the two compounds are going to interact with the, the two different kinds of metals. They're going to react with each other and that it's going to oxidize. It's going to cause rust. And eventually, if you leave them on there too long, you won't be able to get them off, which is not good. Um, if they get damp, they're going to rust. Um, if your lids rust, don't eat the food that's in there. You don't know if that has made a pinhole and gotten in where air has gotten into your jars and the jar is no longer sealed. So don't eat anything where there is rust on your lids. Rotate your food through. I try to mostly can for a two-year cycle. I like to can enough that I have enough ahead for two years. I can't always do that. I don't always get a good enough harvest. So some things I can every year to keep a two year supply on my shelf. And then I use the oldest first and put the newest to the back. Simple rotation. You may only want a one year supply and that's fine. Or maybe you only want six months. Again, that's good. Um, I know that there are some things my mom had canned and I ate, we're 10 or 15 years old. I'm pretty sure I ate some food out of my mom's basement that was older than I was. Just saying. Um, but it was still good because it was sealed. It was kept in a cool, dry, dark environment. That food is still safe to eat as long as it was canned properly and it remains sealed. You know, I don't know if you're keeping it somewhere where there's a lot of temperature fluctuations. I don't know if you're keeping it somewhere where it's too cold or too hot or a lot of light. Um, I prefer a dry, dark basement area and keeping the light turned off. Um, some things like strawberries are going to turn dark right away, you know, depending on how much lemon juice you have in there to help preserve the color. They're still good to eat, even if they are dark. So that's a thought too. That's another video. But basically, I can't answer that question. I know everybody just wants me to spout out, well, you know, the little box of lids says 16 months or whatever it says. Yeah, that's all they're going to guarantee because they don't want to be sued. And they have to put an expiration date on everything sold in America. I don't know who came up with that idea. It's kind of silly. But again, that's another video. <laughs> So there you go. The question I can't answer, and there's the answer to it. I hope in some way that this helped because, you know, I don't know your storage conditions. I can't help you, 
but keep them your foods in a dry, dark, cool place. Okay, there you go, Rebel Can Canners. The answer to the unanswerable question. Have a great day. Hey, like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you never miss another episode. Thanks, Rebel Canners.